All right, so today is Friday, June 24th. Correct. A very long awaited day. Three years long. Three years of in waiting. the making. Three years in the making. Mm -hmm. And what's happening in approximately T minus one hour? I am getting a transpalatal distractor installed on the roof of my mouth mm. in a procedure called the Ease. Nice. By Dr. Casey Lee. Excellent. And um, for the kids at home who don't know what that is. The kids. Yes. We do uh, it can, for the kids. Yeah, we're doing it for the kids. Can you describe A, why you're doing this and splitting open your skull? <laughs> and why specifically you decided to go with the Ease? Because there are a lot of different options out there, are there not? There are many options. Mm -hmm. um, so I am going with the Ease because I am a grown adult, 34 yes, years old. And the Ease is a bone borne expander, which means that it anchors directly to the bone of my upper arch. Um, this is better than expanders that are anchored to the teeth, like the ALF, for instance, which I tried and it didn't really work um, because it just pushed my teeth out. What I need is actual skeletal expansion in the from the midline suture, mm -hmm. which expands my upper arch and mainly expands my nasal cavity. The important part. The important part, because I can't breathe through my nose at night. Right. And I have sleep apnea. That's so deep. breathing is good. Breathing is good. We we want to breathe. So I've tried a bunch of stuff, researched, gone into wormholes for three years, and um, looked at options like the MSE and this. I think this procedure, the ease, is the least invasive and has a much higher success rate of actually splitting the suture and causing skeletal growth in adults mm -hmm. based on how Dr. Lee performs the procedure. Yeah, so you were pretty set on the MSE for a while, correct? Mm -hmm. So what uh, was the thing that flipped and changed your mind to do the ease instead of the MSE? The, just more research into how each of the devices works. The MSC relies on a small plate mm. that is fixed on the roof of your mouth. And the four corners of the plate, there's holes and they drill screws that are going upwards into the bone of your upper uh, jaw. Mm -hmm. And then the procedure there for the MSC is the plate slowly can widen and the screws are the ones that are creating the force to break apart the suture. Right. But what happens is because, first of all, they're perpendicular, they start to bend instead of actually moving. So you get bent screws, which are not good and that doesn't sound good. annoying and doesn't actually cause um, expansion. Mm. So it doesn't move the two halves of your maxilla apart. Um, so there's a high failure rate. Mm -hmm. It uh, so that's number one. The device used for the ease is a transpalatal distractor, which is a steel rod that gets anchored to the two sides of your upper arch, not the top. So it's already pushing in the right direction. It's a stronger device. It's more robust. Uh -huh. And um, as he installs it, he also does some light scoring of areas of high resistance of expansion, like some suture lines. He just kind of lightly scores it with an endoscope to relieve the tension or the resistance against the outward force. Mm. So, and by the time he's done with the procedure, he already guarantees a split. Like he does it for you. So you come out with a gap you between your really front teeth. Yes, gap. that's right. I'm excited about that. So that's the part Melinda's looking forward to. <laughs> Michael Strahan over here. That's right. <laughs> Yeah. So yeah, I'm excited. This has been three years in the making mm -hmm. and I'm um, getting in less than an hour. And okay, so to set a little bit of background context here, yes. um, making this video because I think it's fun to document this journey for myself, but also since I learned about a lot of these things through other YouTubers and YouTube videos, I figured it might be helpful. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. There's no other goal here, it's just sharing my experience and uh, 
yeah, so I'll let you guys know how it feels after it's in my mouth. And what uh, do you hope in an ideal world? Like, what does the process look like and what happens for you because of this procedure? Well, um, ideally I come out in an hour and a half with a steel expander in my mouth and I don't have pain mm -hmm. and it feels great. And since there's already a little bit of a split, I can already breathe better mm -hmm. and feel like I'm getting more air flow in my nose. Because that's the main uh, motivation for this, right? It's not even about the jaw expansion or mewing or anything like that, like the sort of um, aesthetic piece. This is because you literally cannot breathe. Yes. Night. Yeah. Yeah. Just so, make that clear. yeah, that's a good point. It's um, form is function, right? So, with the body, like, you know, a symmetrical, like, well-developed form also implies good function of the organ health. So I think in the community, people are focused on, like, oh my god, I need to have a huge jaw and, like, you know, grow, get chiseled. And while that's a driver for that, it's not the end goal. And it's also, it's, it's a way to get into it but also improve your health, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah, but you for me, for the, you, come for the, you come for the looks, looks you stay for the breathing, breathing yeah. and just improve function. Mm -hmm. I came for the breathing because mm -hmm. I was having sleep issues <laughs> and then realized, oh, it could also have an impact on aesthetics. Mm -hmm. And that's cool, nice bonus, I don't care. That's mm -hmm. nice. Mm -hmm. So it'll flare out the zygomas, the cheekbones. Yeah. You're not gonna be able to walk through doors anymore. Like, wide. So wide. Zygomas just... so flared. You could set a drink on it, like a shelf, <laughs> just so wide. <laughs> just had to walk sideways through doors. So that's, you know, a nice little side mm -hmm. benefit. Mm -hmm. Well, what else? Yeah, I mean, I well, think that's okay, pretty so much... Okay, so I guess uh, it's not just this part. So this is one of many parts, right? So you get this done, and then you have to be in braces for a certain amount of time. Right? Yeah, that's so just to line that? up the teeth. Right. Yeah. So, so what does the entire process look like start to finish time-wise, and what is each step of the process? Probably the entire process, like three to six months. Mm -hmm. Probably closer to six months. Yeah. Um, maybe like three to four months, depending on how fast I can expand, mm -hmm. just to finish the expansion process. So the distractor, it's a metal piece. Yeah. It starts at a certain length and ends at another length. Mm -hmm. And essentially, you want to maximize that length. So you keep expanding however long it takes, four to six, you know, four months maybe. And then you can, after the expansion's finished, put braces on or Invisalign to close the gap and line up all the teeth. Yep. And at the same time, a bonus that I want to do is attach, if I'm getting braces, attach some sort of elastic to reverse pull headgear that I would wear so that I can bring the entire upper jaw, the maxilla, forward. Because mm -hmm. mine's also recessed. It's both tiny in the transverse direction and set back. Mm -hmm. Got all the bad stuff. So I would attach some kind of string to the braces at the four month point, and then wear like a reverse pull headgear to create a pulling force on the maxilla and to try to encourage it to come more forward. Nice. So that'll be like three months. Yeah. And then take off the braces, remove the install or uh, the uh, expander and then now I have a giant jaw. <laughs> Massive. Massive. Just absolutely Johnny Bravo jaw. Gargantuan jaw. Handsome Squidward jaw. <laughs> That's the goal. Handsome Squidward is the goal. Nice. Well on a uh, stoke level from one to ten, how stoked are you? I'm a ten. But since I can't have coffee this morning and I've been fasting, I'm like completely. And she's coffee. drinking coffee in my face. I'm so it's sorry. it's a, probably like an eight because just due to the lack of coffee. I see. But it's a ten. Ah, nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, we're gonna document every part point in the process. Uh, maybe I'll get some footage of you post anesthesia. I just saw a squirrel hop from the ground to like two feet up on a branch. <laughs> I just. Literally just now, wish you could have seen it. That's a good omen. It's a good, it's a good omen. It's yeah. a good omen. That's you. Just that's, leveling up in life. That's right. From the ease. Cool. All right. So All right. Uh, we'll uh, yeah, we'll send another video if All I right. feel like it. We'll I don't see, do this. see you on the other side. See you on the other side. <laughs>